Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, um, or community members. So enjoy. Okay, our educational website resource that we have for you today is Defined Learning. So DefinedEdSTEM.com is a website that provides remote and e-learning projects for free right now. And what's nice about this resource is that it has a breakdown by grade levels, as you can see, K through 12, 3, 5, 6, 8, as well as 9, 12. And what's nice uh, in particular about the 9 through 12 activity work and project we're going to be taking a look at today is that there are several hands-on projects within this, as well as options for uh, simulations within uh, STEM careers. So this really helps learners to explore their potential passions and choose pathways for the future in relationship to a career. So there are several steps throughout the project that will help students understand the overall view and uh, task of the project. As you can see, the introduction gives you a complete overview as they're interacting or playing a role of an architect today, a project manager, and really uh, gaining an understanding of regions and markets within energy efficiency. It gives you them the overall goal or a challenge in what they will be following up with, as well as the audience that they will be uh, speaking to and the situation that is taking place. So renewable energy production is the main concept here. There is a company that gives an overview video of specifically what they do with renewable energy as an eight minute clip. And then there is a follow up activity option so they can present it to the school board. They can create a carbon neutral diagram an understanding of energy and its relationship to how it is renewed. There is ELA activity where they can create two passages uh, to the task, or there is a net zero energy building, and then they can research the informational text and come up with a little uh, summary uh, informational text that they can provide. So this is a really cool way to integrate some interactive projects that are related to STEM as well as their careers. Again, this is a great overview of the video. We'll just watch one uh, introductory piece here for the first minute, but we definitely hope that you can use it in the near future for students to interact 
Again, very straightforward step-by-step -step within this project and link. You can upload to their lesson for the day and it gives them an opportunity for career pathways, especially within STEM careers. So hope you can use it in the near future. We'll see you soon. So Optera Energy has been around for about 40 years. We focus on sustainability programs with public sector clients. So we work with cities, school districts, colleges throughout the U.S. focused on energy efficiency and renewable power programs. So we design those programs in concert with the clients and then we actually implement them. And we then stand behind them for years with post-construction services so that we can be a partner of our clients for many years to come. In concert with that, we have a strong commitment to social impact which means that we're trying to tie our clean tech programming to the social missions of our clients. And for most K-12 schools, for most colleges, that means impacting student achievement. And so we design and develop STEM education programming designed to help our clients with their mission critical goals. Energy starts from the ground up. So energy is everything from the light bulb in the room to the air conditioning to what happens when you walk outside and the light goes on in the evening time. And our goal is to optimize that ecosystem to make it financially feasible and technically feasible. So we want to create high performing environments. And by a high performing environment, I mean one that uses the least amount of energy, but does so while keeping the performance and comfort of the room and the ecosystem intact.